Many Mainers are getting ready to fire up the grill and enjoy this long weekend, but for others, this is a time to honor veterans who died while protecting our freedoms. News Center's Sean Stackhouse shows us how the legacies of fallen veterans are living on through a journey different than any other memorial. Every rider carrying a different name in their heart. Chief Warrant Officer Tanya Dunbar. James Zimmerman. Green Sergeant Kevin Baldus. Tyler Curtis. They're spending Memorial Day weekend honoring fallen Maine veterans. Some of them don't come home, so we are here to honor their memory and call them heroes. It's all part of the Summit Project, a Maine-based nonprofit that remembers fallen veterans by carrying stones engraved with the heroes' names in treks through Maine and beyond. You can never forget the fallen heroes. My son, Chief Petty Officer Robert Roy. For Don Rivard, this weekend has a special meaning. You wish he didn't have the stone at all, but at least this way you know that he's going to be remembered and honored. A living memorial of his son that he's carrying along with him on his Harley. This weekend marks the sixth annual Tribute Track Family Weekend. This horde of bikers is traveling from Portland to Baxter State Park, where nearly 50 hikers will be carrying the stones in hand to keep their legacies alive. It's what Memorial Day is all about. You can never forget. Hundreds of volunteers creating new memories with a memorial unlike most. It's a reflection of the patriotism really that we have as the citizens of the state. And these Mainers found the perfect weekend to remember. The sun is shining, the angels are flying, it's amazing. Sean Stackhouse, News Center, Maine.